Hello, hello, and look who's back! I am finally back home and working on dolls again, even though my house is getting renovated and I can't find half of my stuff half the time. I think this will keep me a little bit sane. Uh, this is a doll I started before I actually left from home and I finally got to finish her now. For this doll, I used a Catherine Demule base. She had already had her factory paint removed, so I'm just gonna go on and remove all her accessories and clothes. And I'm going to cut off her hair as close to the sculpt as possible. I've missed working on dolls so much, but the chaos is just making me a little demotivated, so I'm pushing myself. I'm going to cut off her ears using an X-Acto knife. I'm going to use a uh, sanding paper to remove uh, the stamps that she has on her back. I think this has been my most detailed doll to date after my dear Kukula doll. I'm going to dunk her head in some hot water so it's easier to remove and it will also help the glue from the inside to soften up and I'm going to remove it by swishing around some tweezers. This was my initial sketch for the doll. As you can see, she has a bird cage in her stomach and a key on the back. Um, so this was my rough idea. And now I'm gonna start working on it. I'm going to sketch where I want to make a hole on her belly. And I'm using a pencil. And also just finding the center to where I'm going to make a heart and a keyhole to put the key in. So I'm just slowly sketching it to make it symmetric. And I'm going to drill a hole using my drill. And I also did manage to drill a hole in my actual hand while working on this. I also used the drill to make the hole on her belly. And there's some excess plastic, which I don't need. I'm going to cut it off using my pliers. This will give me more space to work and to put the little tiny bird that I'll be making later. I'm using my Dremel tool just to smooth it around and remove a lot more of the excess, whatever I couldn't get out using the pliers. So I'm just slowly, patiently working on it and removing those bits. And those are the, the connectors of the back of the plastic and the front, uh, but they are in my way, so I removed those as well. Now I'm going to use epoxy skull to create a new uh, back for our bird cage, and I'm slowly, slowly uh, working it in uh, using um, some carving tools for clay. And I do it bit by bit. I found it was more easier. I tried doing it in one big piece and it just didn't sit nicely for me. So here it is. I left her to dry 24 hours. I also closed the hole in her back where her tail used to be. I'm taking in my Dremel tool with a round tip this time and I'm going to make it nice and smooth. So there's no bumps, and this did take a lot of patience. So after that, I will start working on the heart on her back. And again, I took it bit by bit instead of going in straight with one big piece. And again, using tools for um, clay just to smooth it out and shape it. And also recreated the hole with one tool that looks like a one big thick needle. So now I'm taking polymer clay and I'm going to start making the little bird that's going to go inside her belly. So I took white and then I am start shaping it and every... I start shaping the little bird and every so often I check that the size is okay and that it fits nicely in her belly. Also I'm making a little stick where the birdie is going to be sitting so it doesn't just kind of float in her belly. So again I keep checking that it's a good size 
and I am just adding some texture with this needle tool again. So here's the tiny little stick. I cooked it, then I added some tiny feet for my bird, added the bird and cooked it again. I am going to add all the details for the feathers and the eyes using some watercolor pencils and a tiny brush. I decided to go with pink and in general the colors of the doll are going to be on a pastel palette. I'm going to paint the inside of the belly white just to give it a nice solid color and then I am going to go in with some baby blue and this will be a perfect contrast with my pink bird. Once it's dry, I'm going to do two layers of baby blue and I'm using acrylic paints for this. After that, I sprayed her with Mr. Super Clear and with some pastels, I shaded around just to give it some more depth. Once that's done, it's time to put the birdie inside and secure it. And I used epoxy sculpt again. Time to create my bird cage. I used jewelry wire and I secured it again using epoxy sculpt. At this point, I'm not worried too much because there's going to be a lot of detail and it will hide the connecting points. I'm going to be doing a bunch of swirls, roses, and leaves. And again, I used epoxy sculpt for this. I'm currently working on a doll that is going to be quite a big project and I will be using a lot of epoxy sculpt on it and I ordered a white one so I'm pretty excited for that. So I'm kind of waiting for that to come before I start working on her again. So um, I'm going to be creating the little roses like this. I used a pin and I'm just basically f making small uh, balls and flattening them out and then kind of layering them over and overlapping them over each other to create the petals of the rose. As for the leaves, I created these leaf shapes and added details using a needle. I removed the, the roses from the pin and they're not flat underneath so once they're dry i flatten them out using a nail file and then use a little bit more epoxy skull to attach them on the doll and i kind of blend it and press it on the plastic just to make sure that it's she's got all her details on i'm going to take some paper tape and i'm going to cover the bird cage because i don't want the the jewelry wire to get dull from Mr. Super Clear. Um, once I'm done with that, I'm going to spray her with Mr. Super Clear and then start painting her. I decided going over them with white acrylic paint just to get a nice uniform color, but then I realized that uh, that wasn't such a good idea. I forgot to go over them on the hands and I painted them straight away and the colors were much more vivid and bright and I kind of preferred that but it was too late at that point. So here she is. I'm going to um, add a little bit more detail on her heart because I found that it was too plain. I rolled out a snake. I went all around the heart and then using um, a polymer clay tool, I started kind of pressing it around and it became a little bit looking like let's say lace and it was a small cute detail also adding more details on the hands and arms at first i did create a key using polymer clay but it wasn't as symmetric as i would have liked it to be so i ended up getting all these keys from aliexpress for about a euro or i don't know two three euros and I will be using this one or that one. I haven't decided yet. And I ended up going for the bigger one because the little one, it was kind of getting lost. I had to cut it off so it could fit through the hole. I used pliers and a saw. I kind of dented it around with the pliers. And then I used the saw because it was easier. Snap it off. 
then check if it fits through my home and it fitted perfectly so i'm going to start painting i first went in with the brown and i'm painting all the swirls brown and the keyhole and those are basically the parts that i will i will be painting gold but i wanted to give them a base color because the gold wouldn't show up so nicely on the white moving on to the leaves and i will be using a few greens just to give them dimension and they're not flat I took some um, gold dust that you use for polymer clay and I mixed it with Liquidex high gloss varnish and I started painting the brown details gold and that's when I realized again that I messed up and I should have waited after I painted everything and sealed it with Mr. Super Clear. So I kind of stopped and continued working on the doll. And I also painted the key so it matches all the rest of the gold details. I will be also painting some socks on her and I'm using uh, paper tape just for uh, a guide so I get the perfect lines. So I'm putting it all around both of the legs, just checking that they're symmetric. And I will start painting them with acrylic color and I'm going to do two or three thin layers of the paint and once I'm done with that I will start painting on some details I'll be removing the tape I'm not too worried that it's not perfectly straight because we'll be adding some uh, lacy detail after I will be creating some messy dots on her and this will be tiny little roses I added some baby pink and some baby purple and I made them into singles, groups of three or groups of two and they vary in shapes and sizes I'll be taking some green and I'll be adding tiny leaves to my roses as well and once I'm done with that I'm taking some darker pink and darker purple for the purple flowers and I'm adding the details to make the roses look more rosy <laughs> Um, so they're not, you know, just weird spots all over her legs. And again, going back to the body, and I will be painting the roses. I actually left them for a bit because I couldn't decide what colors I wanted to paint the roses. And I decided to go with some pastel purple and a light yellow. I also decided to blush a little bit her body with some pink pastel. And once I'm done, I will be sealing everything again with Mr. Super Clear. Also did the same with the hands and I decided to give her some purple manicure and I'm actually using real nail polish here. Now that I'm done with sealing, I'm moving on to adding the gold details. And I also added some gold dots all over her socks. I will be adding some details on the socks to make them look more finished uh, using some lace I got this transparent lace which I added some silicone glue and I'm going to ruffle it up and glue it all around the leg and then with some pink ribbon I'm just going to attach that as well around the leg to hide the connective the connection point between the roughly lace and the painted sock and this did take a lot of patience. Removing the tape and the body is revealed. Now I'm moving on to her face up. I have already sprayed her with three layers of Mr. Super Clear. Let her dry for 24 hours and I'm going on with my blushing. 
I'm using some pink pastels and I'm blushing around the eyes and the nose just to create a contour and also on the lips. I wanted to make her lips a little bit puffy and smaller than the actual face mold. I am going in with brown just to get the eye shape. I also made it smaller than what the mold is. And I'm adding the bottom lashes as well and getting that initial shape with the brown. I keep turning the head here and there uh, just so it's more comfortable for me to work and get more of a matching eye shape. Now I'm going to be adding some blue pastel for her eyeshadow. And I'm using this tiny applicator. I'm not quite sure what they're called but I know lash technicians use them. Now I'm on another layer and I'm just kind of intensifying everything. As for the eyebrows, I first went in with some pastel just to get the initial shape and kind of the base for it. I created two lines and then I will be shaping them using this tiny eraser. And the eyeshadow and uh, the eyebrows are on different layers right now because as I was working, you know, and erasing, I didn't want to lose uh, the eyeshadow. And now I can continue by intensifying the eyeshadow and going over everything before I go on the next layer of Mr. Super Clear. I decided for her blush to make it into a heart shape. So I'm creating these two little rounds with pastel and then again I will be shaping them using my eraser. And again using a tiny applicator to define my shape for the little hearts. As for the lips, I decided I wanted them to be so I, I want them more sharp. So I went in with a pencil instead of the pastel. I used a pink color for this. And now I'm moving on to finally adding my blacks. So now I'm on another layer of Mr. Super Clear. And I'm going over everything, intensifying the colors and adding the blacks. So just intensifying everything. As for the nose, I went in with a little bit of watercolor just to give um, some color in her nostrils. And now I'm creating tiny little strokes in the eyebrows to make them look more realistic and that they have hair. Using some watercolor again and a tiny brush, I will be going in uh, to create the line between the lips. As for the eyes, I couldn't decide on the color. I didn't want to go with blue because the blue shadow was already too much. I didn't want to go for green to make them clash. So I ended up going in with gray. I'm going to create my shape, the shading, and the iris with some black. And then using some white, I will be kind of blending and creating a nice gradient. So now I'm just going over everything and I'm on another layer of Mr. Super Clear and I decided that I wanted the lips to be red. So I'm kind of going on the top lip with some red pencil and also to give them again a nice gradient on the bottom lip with a little bit of red and some pink. And I'm kind of blending the two together using the applicator again because it has like a little fluffy bit in the front. Intensifying the, the between the lips again using some watercolor. Once I'm happy with the color intensity and I, I, I know them on my final layer, I'm going to start adding a little bit of shimmer on the cheeks 
on the bridge of the nose, a little bit on her forehead, and on the top of the lips, just on the cupid's bow. Once I'm happy, I'm going to give her a light spray. Take my high gloss varnish again. I will be mixing some silver pearlex powder that I will be adding on her eyes just to give them a nice twinkle. And I'm just adding it in the center. And I am filming the voiceover. There's a van of a man water selling watermelons screaming, Watermelons! I can cut them for you to test them out before you buy them. Ah, oh, noisy neighborhood. Taking some white acrylic paint, I will add the catch lights to her eyes, let her dry, and while the face up's drying, I will be working on the shoes. I found the shoes, I found, I think that they're perfect for this doll. I'm painting them pink with some acrylic color. I did about two layers, I think. And then using the gold, I will be bringing out the details that are already on the shoe. And they've got a bunch of swirls that match her design. And now I can finally move on to her head. And I couldn't find the stereo foam that is more like egg shaped because I really don't know where half of my stuff is. So the only one I could find was this ball. So I'll be cutting it and trying to shape it and make it smaller and a little bit more of a, I don't know. I'm going to empty it up a little bit on the inside so it fits better on her head. And I just keep cutting, cutting until I get the size and shape that I want. I will be gluing it on her head and I'm using some silicone glue. let her dry and I will be painting it pink so it matches her hair for this doll I will not be rerouting I will be using yarn because I think it would be easier to style so I made some wefts I will be gluing the first Uh, round around the head um, facing down so when I turn it it looks nice and seamless so I'm just gonna keep working and adding the weft actually the worst part for me was the hair and styling it it drove me insane um, what I did, uh, just to give it some texture afterwards, I took small sections, I wrapped it around a barbecue skewer and heated it up with uh, a flat iron just to give it some curl. Once I did all the hair, I started gluing it on the styrofoam and styling it. I did like a hundred tries. And uh, at some point I just got frustrated and switched off the camera um, just to work on the hair and this is what I came up with. I think it doesn't look as bad. I'm sure it could have been better though. I glued some roses, the same ones as her body, on the hair just to bring the whole look together. I glued some eyelashes and I used some jewelry glue. I kind of attached them, leave it on for a bit till the glue gets tacky and then just place them. And she's ready, it's time to assemble! I managed to scratch off the paint from her leg but it was an easy fix. I'm just bending out the um, 
the hooks on the neck so it's easier to put the head on without actually squeezing it too much attaching the key and here she is i think she came out really pretty i love the color combination of everything and she's really really detailed i hope you guys enjoyed this video and here are some pictures of her I will be attaching my Instagram handle in the description box below and also my TikTok. Thank you for watching.